Good morning, all. Good morning, all. Here are two SCR power modules. There are three phase SCR power modules. I'm going to draw a diagram of it because this diagram on the side of this uh, data plate right here is uh, a little hard to see. But this one is from a Reliance Electric DC drive. The DC drive is a FlexPak 3000 model number 15N4042, and this one is bad. I'll show, I'll show you how to test that here in a little bit. This is a good one that's going to replace the bad one. Let's move these out of the way, and we'll draw our diagram. Now let's find out which gate goes to which SCR. This is the bad one. I'll show you why it's bad in a little bit. Come out of that Reliance Electric DC drive. This is the good one. So the second one we bought. Get these screws off of here.
res meter into resistance mode. And we're going to look at these three on the bottom first. From one to the gate, two to the gate, three to the gate, we should have some low resistance. Go to terminal one first. But look at that. 14.6 ohms. Let's go here and here. Okay, let me draw in the pictures of these gates. What does that say? 1-1? One, one. Okay. This one is 1-1. One, one. She's calling for Tom. Tom, where are you? There's one three, one one. And here's one two. We have 17.2 ohms. He's trying to get Tom to come in. Eighteen point four ohms. That's label one three. I think it's the. I think he's run off for the rain. Cause it was a downpour yesterday. I got. I ain't getting hard. I ain't getting nothing. Might as well say. Yeah. I tell you what, it was like monsoon season over over where I live. I wish I would. <laughs> <laughs> I should have like like pushed the clouds over to your yard, but I tell you what, it was pouring down rain. All right, let's do these. Now since, move this out of the way a little bit, since all these cathodes are common, we are going to measure no resistance on each one. Where are we at? Okay, terminal A. That's this right here. 16.4 ohms. 14.6 ohms. 17.4 ohms. And I'm going to say, these are labeled 21, 22, and 23. I'm going to say that this one is 21, since that's 1, 1. And this is 22, since that's 1, 2. And this one is 23, since that's 1, 3. There we go. Let's take a look at the other one and see what's wrong with it. Let's pull that meter back in. We'll test the good one first. We go from 1 to A. We have 45.46 mega ohms. Let's take the bad one over here. We'll measure the same two terminals. 1 and A. We have 45.95 kilo ohms. Now compared to the mega ohms, that kilo ohms is a short circuit. A to 2. Here's A to 2 on the good one. A to 3. A to 3 on the good one. So A to 1 over here is the bad one. Let's go to B and C, they're connected together internally. B to 1. B to 1. B to 2. B to 2. B to 3. And 
B to 3. All but A to 1 are up in the high mega ohms. Put some heat sink grease on the new power module, the new three phase SCR power module. Now you don't need to put a lot on there, just a thin coat that fills the hills and valleys of that metal heat sink. There we go. All right, Big Paul, don't put it in backwards. I'll try not to. <laughs> they don't work too good backwards. I'll get all these wires out of the way. There we go. Got wire markers you can mark all these wires but I find it easier just to get a sharpie and put dots on the wires one two three four dots five six dots okay let's hook up the gates I got a paper diagram right here of my hookups you set that off to the side We'll hook up the gates. We'll hook up the gates first. Okay, and this one goes here. Okay, you absolutely do not want to get anything hooked up backwards. It won't work quite right. That's why I draw a picture and label the wires. Get down in here, there's too many wires in the way. That one goes there. This one goes here. And the last one goes right there. Let me double check according to my drawing. That's correct, that's correct, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Okay, all the gates are hooked up right. Now for the wires. According to my diagram and my dots, this one goes here. magnetized <laughs> pulling the screw out of the terminal okay there's those over here one dot let's get the one dots hooked up first there's three wires on this one terminal Okay, 
Here's the one dot. Here's the two dots. There's the three wires on the two dots. On the two terminal. There's a lot of wires on this three phase SCR power module. This takes the line coming in and makes the DC for the DC motor. It's pretty smart to use one of these power modules. Alright, there's everybody. Let's make sure we're tight. double check our wiring. I don't know if I'm going to be able to run this drive. Okay, one dot, one dot, one dot, two dots, two dots, two dots, three, three, and three dots. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, A1. There's terminal 45 that has five dots, one, two, three, four, five, that is correct. And the last one on terminal C, that's A, B, and C, is six dots, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're wired. We are wired up correctly. We can at least power it up, see what it does. Here's the line connection, L1, L2, and L3, to power up the drive. This drive is a 220 volts AC three phase. Here's the field connections, labeled F1 and F2. This right here is an interlock for the contactor. If you don't have terminals three and four jumped out, the contactor will pull in and then drop out when you press the run button or enable the drive to run from the terminal board. Here is the armature connections to the motor. And I've got a uh, light bulb, three series light bulbs up there connected to A1 terminal and 45 terminal. 
Now the field here on the back of that light bulb bank are four series 10 ohm power resistors representing the field.